The Murraylands and Riverland region of South Australia is home to almost 70,000 people. It's an important food producing region with industries such as vegetables, grains and livestock in the Murraylands and irrigated horticulture in the Riverland. Irrigated agricultural production in this region is worth $840 million. That's more than half of the state's total in 2012-13. Some of the key principles of Psalms for OP was to make sure that the, uh, it was for irrigators that were going to stay in the industry. It was supporting the people that were going to be part of the future of the irrigation industry and the future of the regions. And that was something that everyone agreed to. The requirement to give back water uh, was something that was uh, needed to be done for the Murray Lane Basin Plan, but it was seen as an opportunity rather than a risk. And so we explored ways to uh, encourage irrigators as businesses rather than just as irrigators to explore what they could do to maximise their businesses, to maximise what they could do for the regions and what they could do for the state. The Australian Government agreed to fund the $265 million South Australian River Murray Sustainability Program, known as SARMS, in August 2013. This multifaceted funding program is made up of the $240 million Irrigation Industry Improvement Program, or 3IP, and a $25 million Regional Economic Development Element. Thanks to swift implementation, the 3IP has already offered $170 million in grant funding to 170 projects. The 40 gigalitre target set as part of the funding negotiations with the Australian Government is already within reach. It's the broader industry outcomes that have driven this program from day one. So let's hear what outcomes are being achieved. All in all I think it's been a really good outcome and it's sort of a blueprint really for going forward if we're going to do this sort of thing again in any grant or any grant system. The outcome is really what should determine the process to some degree and I think this has been a terrific outcome. We're looking to be positive and look to, to new, new innovations in the industry to sort of move forward and 3RP is allowing us to do some of those things that we, we want to do to keep us going. The biggest main project that we're uh, undertaking is uh, netting of a large patch of our young plantings with uh, trees that are pretty much hitting their straps now. We've been looking at building and upgrading a dairy for quite, quite a few years now so this opportunity has happened at the right time but I think it's just given us that chance to build a facility that should have a 30 year lifespan and should, should just have a huge, huge capacity to, to do things extremely well. One of the great things about funding these irrigation programs in the South Australia's River Murray uh, region is that the funds tend to stay there. So we see this money flowing through the community many times over. And so the multiplication of spending $240 million is much more than $240 million. And the fact that these projects are actually about um, business creation and business growing means that those effects are not just short-lived and it's not just about the spending of the money. It's actually about the leveraging and the way that they all can carry on to grow those businesses into the future. By us being able to maintain our current production levels, we can maintain our, our workforce. We've had the same group coming back to us for the last four or five years. Uh, they know that they've got a job. Uh, enable jobs to stay in South Australia, enable jobs to stay in the regions in which uh, a lot of these primary products are actually made or produced or grown. And we've already employed a number of different people in this place alone and there's a lot more to go in a Bonato um, who've spent a lot of money at the supermarkets and the doctor and you know there'll be more kids going to the local school and the follow-on effects of those are massive. I mean Loxton where we are uh, the schools have been struggling, the supermarkets have been struggling and I think these sort of systems will enable the long-term future of these areas which is terrific. There is already significant water on offer to be returned to the river as well as 250 new ongoing jobs to be created in 2015-16 to deliver the projects. The 40 gigalitre target is well within our reach as are more than 500 new ongoing jobs in future years. 
The Government of South Australia is proud to have developed this innovative program with industry and having delivered it in good faith to have already achieved significant outcomes in a short space of time. You know, it, it's, a, it's a combination of things. It, it, ultimately it won't be just about garlic, but it will be about a, a farm enterprise that will be commercially viable, it will be in, environmentally enhancing, it's going to provide employment opportunities, it's going to, it's a part of what all farmers do and that is underwriting the health and well-being of our society. We are so blessed in this country that we eat well enough to live very, very well and uh, you know farmers can really hold their head up and be proud of what they do and uh, the Psalms project is going to uh, help realise that.